actually did two videos. One was about uh, this scam. The other one was about how to fight back and how to take control when you get these ads, these scam ads that pop up before, during, or after um, your video that you want to watch. So first up, I was perusing the internet, uh, the YouTubes, and I was watching uh, Digital Dave, Crazy for Cryptos. You should check him out. Good guy. And this ad came up. 100,000 get, get away. And we know it's a scam because it's like, no one, if you send an ETH, we're going to give you 10 ETH back. That's a, no one does that. That's stupid. So my dilemma was, well, how do I report this? Because I can't downvote uh, Digital Dave's video and then report Digital Dave for crazy for cryptos. That's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to report this and I couldn't do it. So I figured it out that if you actually just, you know, click on because what we want to do is on the upper left-hand corner, we're looking for this icon, whoever it is, uh, Buterin, whether it be Gates or Musk or something like that, whoever they're trying to impersonate, that's their channel. So on a desktop computer, you can actually click on that. And of course, we want to make sure we're not screwing up uh, Digital Dave's video. So we're going to click on the Vitalik Buterin scammer. And it's going to take us to the scammers lair where they actually host their video. Because I do Google AdWords for YouTube advertising. They have to they have to upload their video to YouTube. You cannot uh, host it externally. So it has to be there somewhere. And when I look at this, I'm like, what the heck is this? A foods? That makes no sense. I, I was just looking at a scam. What is this foods? Well, that, my friend, is just a thumbnail because that is what they're trying to... Uh, uh, cause confusion. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to click on that. And what happens? Oh, there's the scam. And then you can see, okay, it's the same thing. That's the video. And then the bottom left-hand corner, you can see that this is actually the Vitalik Buterin video. This is not the Digital Dave uh, video. This is what I want to report, right? So I'm like, all right, what do I got to do? All I got to do is I want to do two things. I'm going to click on dislike, hit those three dots right there, and I want to report it. And that's it. So that's how you report uh, ads on your desktop. I was having a real hard time with trying to figure out how I did this with uh, on my mobile because I couldn't figure it out. But thankfully, somebody smarter than me, which is not hard, I might add. Uh, this is from uh, Bluggy, Bluggy, and uh, he sent me an email. And I just want to say a shout out to XRP Crypto Wolf and a fellow countryman, all the, everybody who sends me information. I really appreciate it. But um, he said, "Hey, I found a way to report on mobile," and he just said on this little, let me blow this up, see how everybody can see. So he said right here in the bottom left-hand corner where it says add one of two on my mobile device, there's a little I right there. And if you click on, and everything else doesn't work, right? These little three dots, visit advertiser, that just takes you to the website. But if, the, if you click on this little I, what's gonna happen is, this screen's gonna pop up. It's gonna say, all right, so what's wrong with this ad? What's the problem? And you can't say it's a scam or be really specific, but it's not that it's irrelevant to you, not that it's repetitive, it's inappropriate. And that could be anything. That could be from it has sexual nature, it is inappropriate because it deals with uh, uh, violence and something else, or it is a scam. So you just click inappropriate, send, and you're done. So it's like, it's super fast. You can do that in like five seconds. So now we know, and I wanna say thank you so much uh, to, I'm gonna say, Bluggy. Uh, thanks for helping it.